a very good morning we were dealing with unit 1 of uh, managing big data uh, second semester mtech course uh, we were dealing with certain topics which were related to industrial applications of hadoop and also different computing platforms that are available in um, uh, clustered computing so one of the platforms that we are discussing today in our uh, online class session is on volunteer computing now volunteer computing is a computing arrangement where people voluntarily provide their computing resources and you, it may be a resource that may be a storage it may be computational power which is voluntarily submitted to a volunteer grid computing now this is one of the uh, setup where it gives you an abundance amount of computational resource to solve computationally intensive uh, projects one such project is seti search for extra terrestrial intelligence which sits on the volunteer computing for a very long time and uh, it uh, uh, the main work of the seti at home is to analyze the video as well as the audio clippings that comes from the satellites and to also hear extra terrestrial sounds which comes outside the earth uh, in a in a want of search of the intelligent lights uh, lights outside the earth now volunteer computing can use any kind of computational resource it may be a desktop it may be a laptop it may be mobile phones it may be anything that is connected to a an internet which has a considerable amount of computational power and it can use somewhere around 15 to uh 20% or 10 to 15% of the total processing capacity of your computational device so the volunteer computing basically takes the program or the problem into many tasks it divides them and it is solved by many computers which are connected to that particular grid now a very interesting facts about volunteer computing is that volunteer computing is often confused with cloud grid as well as hpc now it is very important that we know what is the difference between these key terminologies so uh, very importantly before we go with the differences you should also look at some of the key projects that uh, volunteer computing projects are basically on one of them is abcv at home which is used for mathematical computations by university of lycaden university uh, astroids at home a physical science astrophysics project charles university in prague uh, home multiple applications european research projects are going on on this now volunteer computing as we have discussed already is uh, solving the chunks of the overall problem and putting back the results of the chunk into a master result which is the solution for the overall problem so when you take a difference between a map reduce as well as that is hadoop as well as a volunteer computing uh, hadoop basically is uh, designed to run jobs that last for minutes or hours on a trusted dedicated hardware however in case of volunteer computing it is cpu intensive it runs on hundreds of cpus across the world and each cpus will be configured to solve a particular tasks and does not store your bandwidth to a larger extent in case of hadoop it requires a dedicated very high bandwidth so usually the fabric of uh, network connectivity will usually be infinite band which is around 56 gbps here in case of voluntary computing the bandwidth can be spread across multiple network fabrics multiple network technologies multiple network interconnects and uh, all of them are used it runs perpetually on all these networks so in what way you consider map reduce better or inferior to volunteer computing can you give some reasons for this so this is your task so when you talk about before i start with web and analytics this is a very important point that we have to look at is that all the cluster computing hpc comes under the map reduce category the cloud is a platform for online storage whether it is a um, map reduce technology hadoop a cluster computing or a grid computing it's a virtual storage space for all of these technologies a volunteer computing may use 
uh, the support of a cloud or may not use the support of a cloud because it is abundantly provided with large amount of uh, storage resources. So it may use a cloud or it may not use a cloud. So to answer this first question of what is the difference between a volunteer computing versus the cloud versus grid versus HPC, this is the answer for it. So one of the very important applications is the web analytics applications. Now this web analytics application is to analyze the study of users and their impact in the websites. So some of the very important web analytics uh, is used for the e-commerce companies where the returning number of users are very very important for them. So what are the measures that has been taken up by the web analytics softwares? How many people visited their site? How many of those visitors were unique visitors? How many came to their site, followed a link to get to a site or came directly? What keywords did they search on the site's engine? What links did they click on and what they left aside in the site? How long did they stay on the given page or on the entire site? So these are some of the key questions which are basically a metrics for the web analytics softwares. Okay. Now web analytics softwares are basically monitoring softwares. They are used for monitoring the analytics of a particular page. For example, Google has its own analytics, Google web page analytics, where it stores the stock of the number of page hits uh, from different countries, from different IP addresses on a particular site. And this is freely available. Anybody can go into Google. Under that Google, you have apps. Under the apps, you can go, go for Google Analytics. You can search for any website uh, for its analytics. For example, if uh, let's say that you have created your own website. So this own website, what you have created, you can find out what is the analytics on that particular website, whether your website is popular or not popular. For example, if you look at Amazon as a website, it has millions and millions of hits every day so that's how people get to know that it's more popular even in the web search engine uh, google search engine the placeholder of first item in the search after the keyword is being searched is based on the page ranking and the analytics what you performed okay so now uh, uh, typically talking about web analytics it's a very important web strategies business strategies for today and it is a very key parameter in understanding how businesses are going online. So determining which area of the sites are more popular, which area of the sites do not get a traffic is another important outcome of web analytics. Web analytics provides the site administrator uh, publishers with data that can be used to streamline the websites to create a better user experience. So what matters uh, to marketing, the, ma the matters that mat matter a lot to the marketing is on the essential raw materials, ingredients, the production, the product work, the, uh, the, the way in which the market takes its decision on this particular topic. 